Hello, hello, and welcome to Tonight at BYU. We are so excited to have you guys with us. My name is Levi Hepri. I work for admissions, um, and we've got some exciting, exciting stuff. This is truly the place to be. Whether you're watching this live tonight or on demand after the fact, we've got some awesome stuff lined up for you. We've got stories that will make you laugh. We've got stories that will make you cry. We've got stories that will make you laugh cry as well. And as always, whether you're watching live or after the fact, we've got tons and tons of merch to give away and we're so excited. So without further ado, we're gonna bring out our first guest. Our first guest is McKinley Hawks and she is a captain of the Cougarettes dance team. If you don't know what the Cougarettes are, first of all, where have you been? You are in for a treat. Let's give you a look at who the Cougarettes are. Oh, dang, hey. that's some cool moves, yeah? Oh, uh, we have fun. <laughs> I know, it looks like you guys have fun. Thanks so much for being with us. Of course, I'm happy to be here. Awesome, awesome. Well, I think, um, elephant in the room, you're a cougarette, right? That is true. Tell me a that little bit true. more about that. How, how did you get involved with them? Yeah, um, I, I mean, everybody kind of says this, but I've dreamed of being a cougarette ever since I was little. I was exposed to them at a young age. Um, a lot of my dance teachers were cougarettes, and I just wanted to be just like them. Um, and then growing up, I came to their concerts, and, you know, I just loved everything about them, and I just, I knew that's what I wanted to do, so. That's awesome. I just worked for it, and I'm grateful to be here. That's awesome. Yeah. I, I would take a guess that there's a couple of our viewers out there who are probably in that same boat, right? Yeah, for sure. That's awesome. That's awesome. So. It sounds like you've had, as we were talking a little bit, you've had a lot of really good experiences with the Cougarettes. Would you say that? Yeah. Tell me a little bit about, you know, some of the different experiences that you've had. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's so many. I mean, this is my fifth year as well, so I've had a lot of time with the team. But um, some of the cool things we've had, we've been able to actually do a lot of things with the church. Mm -hmm. So um, a few years ago, this is my junior year, uh, we got to do... A collaboration with some singers um, and we got to put together a music video for the women's conference like the world yeah. conference and so that was really cool um, and we got to work a lot with Bonnie Corden and that she was kind of the um, like the spokesperson for everything she worked a lot with us she worked with everyone else to make sure that happened um, and so that was a really awesome opportunity for us and she you know comes to practice now and then now just because of that and so last year when we were learning our nationals routine, she came in and our choreographer was here. Yeah. She's obviously not a member. Um, we love her so much and she's incredible and she's worked with us for the last like 11 years. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Bonnie came in and she asked us this funniest thing. She was like, how do you feel the spirit um, during hip hop? <laughs> and all of us were kind of like... It's probably the first second, time you've been yeah, asked that question, Yeah, right? for sure, for sure. Yeah. But it was like so funny um, how quick we were able to answer that. Like all of it was so true and... Uh, you know, we're praying during the dance that we can get through at number one, that we can be there for each other during the love zone. I got to chuck somebody up in the air or land my trick, right? Yeah. Um, and we're just grateful that our bodies can even do those crazy things that we put it through. So, there. I mean, there's a lot of things happening, but it's, yeah, you can feel the spirit in hip-hop too. Yeah. So, it's I, great. I, I know I feel the spirit <laughs> when I listen to hip-hop, so I'm, oh, yeah. I'm glad to hear that. That's so cool. That's so cool. Well, tell us, do you have any... Advice again, talking to some of these people who might be out here, some of them might be prospective students, alumni, especially to our prospective students. Mm -hmm. Do you have any advice for them if they're thinking about BYU or? Yeah, um, I would say that's, that's hard. There's a lot of things I've learned while I've been at BYU. Probably my biggest thing though is not to be alarmed if something you didn't plan comes down your path. Hmm. Um, 
and there's probably something for you to learn for you to get better if yeah. something like that happens. So, um, I mean, I've been here for five years. My plan wasn't to do that originally. Last year, um, my fourth year, I was planning to be done with Cougarettes. Yeah. And um, during our one of our nationals practices, our choreographer was in and I had a weird tear happen and I didn't really know what it was. And then the next week I found out I had tore my labrum, did some MRIs and I found out I actually tore both labrums in my hips. So it was kind of a lot of information at once. And then I basically had to choose if I were to get surgery in two weeks or if I were to wait till the end of my season and kind of run the risk of like ruining my dad's career yeah. forever. And so that was a really hard decision, right? And I thought I had everything planned out. I had everything going for me um, with school, everything, not just dance. And so that was really hard. And I just remember, you know, kind of praying and having my moment to myself and kind of being like, what am I supposed to learn from this? Like, what am I supposed to be doing if I'm on a team for a whole year and I'm not even doing what we do, right? Yeah. So um, I was able to kind of switch roles and still help the team and kind of put the team first and focus on them as I was, you know, getting my surgeries and healing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm back now and doing another year and I, that wasn't my plan, but yeah. I'm, I've learned so many things and I'm grateful to be here. But yeah, that was totally not part of my plan, but you know, just changing your perspective on things and being able to take those things in. Um, I would say that's a, the, probably the biggest lesson that I've learned, just yeah. kind of. Yeah, and now you're back challenges. and better yeah. than ever before, mm -hmm. right? I saw so. I, I understand when you tear your <laughs> hip because some of those things you flip over yep. and that would be both of my hips gone. <laughs> gone, right gone. there. Yeah, just so I, I have sympathy towards that. Well, that's awesome. We're going to, are you okay if we keep you on your toes a little bit more? Yeah, for sure. We're going to move into our first game segment. Amazing. So, McKinley, how are you about eating things? You know, I actually can try a lot of things. Yeah. I, I have a high tolerance. So. That's good because yeah. this first game that we're going to play is called mystery sandwich oh man that's right here it is mystery sandwich okay so right now i'm gonna give you this thing just so you guys are aware this says nap queen we felt that like that was naps. right so we're gonna Kay. we're gonna put a blindfold on you all right and then right here i've got some mystery items that i'm gonna make a sandwich <laughs> for you okay okay I am not particularly renowned for my sandwich making abilities. Okay. So you're going to have to maybe excuse me so you can <laughs> see some of this stuff that's going in here. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. We're going to make a generous dollop of this oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit of that it's okay we okay. <laughs> you're, you're not gonna not gonna poison me no you're definitely right. not going right. to be poisoned gotta be at practice tomorrow you know it's true it's yeah. true and and you had said rolling with things <laughs> <laughs> rolling with some of these different oh, no. things right yeah so don't even worry great, great. okay i'm gonna put this right here Okay, so the challenge of this game, let me get a couple more things that we got there. <laughs> so the challenge of this game, McKinley, mm -hmm. is we know the Cougarettes can dance, but we know next to nothing of their <laughs> taste buds. Okay. Okay, so right here, this is a sandwich. I'll give away one of the things, it's bread. Oh no. Okay. So what I want you to do <laughs> is take a bite, a couple of bites, whatever you feel like you need to do. Okay, am I trying to guess what's in it or Yes, something? you're trying to guess the different ingredients. Am I allowed to smell it or something? Sure, you can smell it, you can okay. feel it, you can... <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's something in my hands, I have no idea what it is. Okay, um, I can only smell bread and jelly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. I'm just going to take a bite. Here we go, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Oh, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> There's definitely like a chip or something. Mm -hmm. Close. Do you, do you know, we'll give you uh, some points for that. Okay. What kind of, can you tell what kind of? Is it of not like triangle thingy? 
Thought you could, like, put on your Dragon Girl thingy. <laughs> you know those like. Oh, bugles. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were gonna say Doritos, and I was oh, like, no, no, no. "Girl, you've had I a de- Dorito." Don't even. <laughs> I'm totally talking with my mouth full. That's gross. So we got. It's not those. No, not quite oh, that shoot. one. Okay. Something a little bit. Another bite. Another okay, bite. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Another bite. Should I? All right, all right. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> 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 what what are you feeling right now? <laughs> Tell us what you're feeling. That's a weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> is that a gummy worm? It is! It's right. a gummy worm. I like gummy worm. Okay, let's do one more bite and then All we'll right. let your torture be over. Okay. It's kind of dry. Oh, what is that? Lettuce? Lettuce! Right? Mm hmm. So she, she can so correctly so identify gummy worms so and nutritious. lettuce. It is, yeah. yeah. I should eat this every day. Okay. Here we go. Oh my. Okay, last one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> More gummy worm. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> hmm. Any guesses? I have no idea. <laughs> no idea? That, that, that? kind of spongy thing you're touching there. What do you think that is? <laughs> Wait, this is bread. No, no, just just oh, a no. little bit here. Like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. All right. In what three seconds, I want you to you'll you'll take off your blindfolds. <laughs> You're gonna get so. Three, two, one. Ham or something? Is that turkey? What is that? What? Okay. You ready? Yeah. Oh. Whoa. So is we have we have spam. <laughs> You correctly got a chip. We had a flaming hot Cheeto in there. Ah, uh, there we go. There you we go. called it uh, jelly, but it was Nutella. <laughs> which Amazing. Is, which is mm-hmm. I kind of like the same consistency, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. We got lettuce, and then you got the gummy worm. Uh, How are you think? feeling? You gonna take this to your teammates? I'm maybe? surprised that honestly it was the Funyuns, or what is that called? Are they called Funyuns? Flaming hot Cheeto. These guys. Oh, the Funyuns. You, you can taste that? It? Yeah, we put all oh, that I stuff see, in there. Wow. All Guys, right. try it. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, so, so you, good. Got, you got the official Cougarette endorsement. Thank you so much yep. for being a good sport, McKinley. Of so course. as we take some of these different things away, we're going to introduce our next guest. Should we bring Great. the next, yeah, the next person in. to suffer on? Just for kidding. Sure. We're, we're not going to make you all yeah, suffer. That would be all, rude. Yeah. Um, so we're go- in, going to introduce Braden Duke next. Braden is president of the International Folk Dance Club. is also on the, on, on the International Folk Dance Team. If you don't know what that is, let's give you a look right now. Colorful. <laughs> I, th- I think Braden's still a little bit afraid that we're gonna make him eat some, I some know. stuff. I know. <laughs> I'm a little nervous now. <laughs> don't be worried. Don't be worried. Welcome, welcome to our show. We're so excited to have Thanks. you. Thanks. Happy to be here. Yeah, that's awesome. Look like some amazing things that you guys get up to um, in international folk dance. And so, one of the questions that I've been trying to ask some of our different contestants and guests is. Why, why BYU, right? You're here at BYU. I believe you're senior, is that yeah. correct? Mm-hmm. All right, so why did you pick BYU? Yeah, great question. Uh, it kind of comes out of two factors. One, my dad was an alumni. He loved his time here. He always talked great about great memories he had. Um, and then the second thing is, when I moved to Utah in elementary school, the friends I made, the, uh, I guess, spiritual connection that I had through my ward and through uh, different seminary activities. I wanted to continue that in college. <clears throat> and so I, uh, yeah, just wanted to be surrounded by individuals that helped me to grow 
both spiritually and academically. Yeah, that's awesome. And you're uh, one of eight siblings? Eight kids, eight yeah. Eight kids, right? <laughs> I'm the eighth. You're so the eighth. But my dad's the, last hope. Yeah, you're the only <laughs> one here at BYU, though, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, and what's your dad's name? David. 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 I will make sure that he graduates. I will give you your dream. <laughs> Just kidding. He will give you your dream, but I will make him do it. Just kidding. Can give me those passing grades. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. So why why international folk dance? What led? Were, have you always done that kind of stuff? No, actually, I had never even heard of it when I got to BYU. My whole freshman first semester was going by normally. I was a computer science major. Thought I was just going to do that and graduate in four years, but. Uh, Going into my second semester, a girl in my ward said, hey, I need an audition partner for this. And at the time, I was like, I just want to try new things. So sure, why not? Had a great time at the audition, joined a team, and I didn't really have any dancing experience besides like a show choir I was in. So I had a lot of ground to cover. But over the next like two years, I took so many technique classes until I felt comfortable uh, auditioning for the touring team, and now I've toured internationally, which is crazy. That's awesome. But That's it's awesome. Yeah, the kind of crazy thing is, after that first semester, I was planning on uh, actually transferring schools. I didn't really have a great experience yeah. at the start of my BYU journey. Yeah. And uh, my dad convinced me to give it another try. And he had done ballroom dance while he was here, and he loved it. And he said, you just need to find the thing that you love. Yeah. And it turned out it was folk dance. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Good for you. And you said you've traveled internationally. Um, we heard a cool story from you that you'd had um, interactions with some dignitaries of other countries. Do you want to tell us a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, sure. So when we were in Serbia, um, which hasn't always had fantastic relations with the United States, we uh, were able to perform with a Serbian cultural dance ensemble there called Ensemble Vila. And when we performed, we invited you know all the dignitaries from Serbia and the U.S. Embassy and at the end of our performance, uh, our ambassador came up and said, you've just done more uh, to improve relations with Serbia in this night than the last 10 years of, oh. yeah. <laughs> Big deal. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's, so Braden Duke, not just president of the club, but maybe Braden Duke for president? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, good for you. Um, and we, I think we also have a picture of some of your shenanigans um, when when you are out there doing some good relations, and then do we hear that picture? There's I think there's a trampoline incident, Ooh, right? There were plenty of shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so yeah, that was in Belgium actually, <laughs> and uh, we were lucky enough to live with host families while we were there. Uh, we were being hosted while we performed at a festival there, and at the end of our time the leader of all the hosts had a big party at his house and invited us all there. And in my defense, I wasn't the first person to jump on that tram. So <laughs> they, they wore it out it for you. It looked safe. Uh, it looked fine. What were you doing? Backflip? I was about to do I was literally the jump before a front flip. Oh, like, shoot. And then it just, boom. I went straight down to the ground. Oh, my God. And no one asked if I was OK. And they were all just like, you broke his tram. <laughs> <laughs> So oh, that was great. Oh, there you <laughs> go. Probably the most embarrassing I've ever been. Oh, sure. <laughs> but, but you got the pictures, right? We got the pictures, Picture yeah. it didn't yeah. happen. That's what, that's what we like to see. Well, that's Gosh. awesome. Well, you said something else that I think is interesting that maybe some people don't always connect, right, is you're, you're doing international folk dance, but you're actually, you said, cybersecurity major? Yeah, is that uh -huh. right? I've switched majors a few times, finally landed on cybersecurity, and it has been fantastic. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. and, and you incorporate that in some of your student job you've mentioned? Yeah, uh -huh. I work currently for BYU IT, which is the best place on campus to work if you have an opportunity. <laughs> um, and right now I work as a computer programmer slash web developer, and so I've been able to have a hand in most BYU websites some way or another, building templates or yeah, adding in some custom code. So it's been an awesome way to have hands-on job experience and apply what I learned in my major. Yeah, that's awesome. So you can dance, you can code, and McKinley has won like 5,000 national championships. So I'm feeling really good right now sitting here between the two of them. So that's, that's cool. Yeah, back when I was in school, I did all that stuff too. That's awesome. Good. Well, should we get some, some more games? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. We've got two dancers here, right? Mm -hmm. So coordination's a big thing. Um, we want to see your physical prowess. So we're going to have, it's not quite a dance-off, it's a 
balance off. All right, so if you guys can stand right here, we'll have Braden come right here. And then we're going to have McKinley stand right there as well. Okay, so you're going to hold your hands out. Hold your hands out here like this. Yeah, you can have them in any way. And then when we say go, you're going to put one foot. If you're listening in chat, we want you to think who, who's going to win, Cougarette, or is it going to be our international folk dance star? Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go on one foot, and I'm going to be watching you guys. Okay, it's honor code, right? We're going to see this, and then as we go, we're going to oh, you kick it all the way in the air. Yeah, that's impressive. Okay. So when I say go, we're going to start, and then I'm going to start helpfully right, right, There you go. There's, there's the cranky right. Y there. Whatever you want. Are you I'm trying to decide because okay. I'm right foot dominant. Ah, and I'm no, going to start right. handing you random things, okay. and we're going to see if we can balance the most, okay? Gotcha. Ready, set. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Take a rest. Take a rest. Okay. This is for honor and glory. <laughs> go. How are you feeling? So feel good. <laughs> You're feeling okay. <laughs> you Not too are, bad. Yet. You guys yeah, are super good at this. I would have been done. Okay, here we go. Nothing here. You can do it. There we go. You can do it. Okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm scared. Here, put it in my arm. In my arm, put it in. I feel like this is so stacked against you. <laughs> Kinley, yeah. you have it way harder items. Right Sorry. How are they doing okay. this? <laughs> okay, close your eyes now. Oh, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Why is this so dark? <laughs> ah! Oh, okay. Well done. Well done. That was, I, I have never seen anything quite like that. That was amazing. How do you feel? You know, will will like we be bringing this to the warm ups of, of your guys' teams? Need to. Yeah, you think that's a good idea? <laughs> we honestly do a lot of balances, though. So do you? This is, this is a good one. I'll bring it in. I love it. Okay, here we go. Let's exit this stuff. Let's have a seat. Congratulations. Good job. So, as we're sitting, have a seat, you guys. Um, we want to tell some of our viewers about some of the things they can win. So there's three different ways you can win. Again, if you're watching this live, 
you can be chatting in and we'll start to get some names of people who are chatting in, guessing different things, saying kind things to our guests. That's one way if you're here live. Now, if you're watching this after the fact, don't panic. There are still ways for you to win. So one is for our prospective students, our applicants, our seniors, right? Here's the challenge. If you start or finish an application by November 1st, which is our priority deadline, what we're going to do, we're going to take a look at that list again, starting or finishing an application. This is for our seniors looking to come to BYU. We're going to go in and customize a pair of Nike Air Force Ones Ooh. for you. Sound pretty good? Yeah. yeah. Sounds really good. That sounds sounds like a nice thing. So again, if you're watching this after the fact, you still have a chance to win. We also have to show, don't worry, if you're a junior, sophomore, um, someone not eligible to apply at this time, we do have a way you can win. Um, we have got some AirPods, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Newest gen. We wouldn't, we wouldn't short you guys on the older gen ones. <laughs> Newest gen AirPods will go to those who are sharing this video. It'll post right after we're done here, sharing this video on Instagram and tagging BYU Admissions. Unsurprisingly, it's at BYU Admissions. Sound pretty good? Yeah, got some good options for them. All right, let's keep rolling on here. We want to introduce our next guest. This man comes all the way from the islands of Las Vegas. <laughs> there are islands out there, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I have a college degree. I know these things. This is Tama Tuitama who is one of the captains of the BYU swim and dive team. And we want to show some of the different footage and photos from them. Take a look. Woo. Oh, 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 can you do that one more time? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, Instagram okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Instagram just lit on fire. I feel like <laughs> TikTok will be up all night. I love it. Well, welcome, Tama. Thank you. I'm sorry I didn't show up in my Speedo. <laughs> I just want to be a little bit more formal. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's probably good. Yeah. <laughs> that's probably good. I mean, we don't, we don't have a lot of water around here. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for being with us. Yeah, of course. Tell us. I, I, you know, the question we've been asking everybody, how'd you get involved in swimming? Um, you know, honestly, it was kind of my dad. He, I remember I was only six months old, and we were out in the backyard, and he decided to just kind of chuck me in the water and see if... <laughs> I float or what would happen if you had to come to save me and it turned out that I just floated on my back and I was laughing I was just a little infant baby so it was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So getting involved in swimming from an early, early age, yes. right? Basically a fish. I love it. I love it. Um, so tell me, uh, how's your BYU experience been so far? Man, my, my BYU experience has been awesome. I can't tell you how much you know, BYU has supported me through all of my swimming career, not only my swimming career, but my academic career. They are always there to help me, you know. Everyone, all my professors, all my, like, my peers, they're always there to help me. Because, you know, honestly, being, like, student athlete or anything like that is, it, it is rough and it's hard. But you know what? There's people there that will help support you in any way that they can. That's awesome. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Um, and it sounds like you guys have really built that culture, you know, in your team of taking care of each other. Um, I'm, I've heard you have like a special pump up routine <laughs> before swim meets. Can you, can you tell me a little bit about that? What does that look like? Yeah. So pretty much, um, we usually do like a cheer before, uh, this is a really weird one. Don't judge us, but it just works for us. Right. So pretty much what you do as I have a hard hat, all right? It was a construction hard hat that we kind of took from the construction workers when they were renovating the pool without them knowing. And so what we'd do is we would stand up. I would stand up, kind of, you know, get ready. I'd have a stick. I don't have a stick with me, I'm sorry, but usually I put the hat on. We start running out there, you know, we're like all getting hyped, like, ah, oh, it's 
start yelling and start yelling and everyone just kind of starts getting softer and softer and then we just, just do our cheer where we're like just yelling BYU Cougars and stuff like that and it's super awesome. It's something that, you know, it, it pumps us up. It's really weird. I don't know why it pumps us up, but, you know, if it works, it works. So. <laughs> yeah. I, I love that. I love the thought of it, right? Can you guys utilize that in any of your your pre-game stuff. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. we got some hard hats. Do you have more than one hard hat, or can we just like pass the BYU hard hat around? There's only one special hard hat, I'm sorry. There's only one special hard hat. That's, that. that's totally fine. That's totally fine. That's awesome. I love that. Um, well, we have kind of a, you're kind of a big deal, I hear. Is that true? Right? The, the little pose beforehand, I feel like, would, would lead us to believe that. Would you agree with that? In I would one hundred percent agree that yeah. it's a big deal. Tell <laughs> us, um, tell us about what what's happening maybe in twenty twenty six. Is it, did I get the year right? Twenty twenty four. Twenty twenty four, even uh -huh. sooner than that. What's that? Yeah, so it's actually the Olympic year. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to. No, I'll, not really lucky, but I performed well at a swim meet where I hit an Olympic standard cut. So I'm able to represent a foreign country um, outside the U.S. and I'm going to be representing Samoa in the 2024 Paris Olympics. So that's so sick. That's yeah. awesome. Oh Super excited. That's awesome. Yeah. And you knew us first. Remember that. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Can we give you? It's like this. this so when you compete on mm -hmm. screen, when the camera like pans over you and they're talking about you, what 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 can you give us that will let us know? that you're thinking of us in that moment. I know it's a couple of years out. I know it's a little bit needy of me to ask. Right? Um, you know, when I go out there and I kind of go like this, it'll remind you that That's this, right. was, this was, <laughs> this was the, the moment right here. This, this was the start. That's so awesome. Yeah, or just the little cougs, you know, out there. <laughs> That's so awesome. From six-month-old baby to future Olympian. Yeah. We're happy for you. That's Thank exciting. You. I appreciate it. That's exciting. Well, you guys ready for another challenge? Heck yeah. People ready for some more challenges, right? We got some more, so we want you to pick who you think you're going to win. I'm going to tell you uh, what happens to the two losers of this. They're, you're not losers, right? You just didn't win. You're not winners. Ah. <laughs> is, that, is that fair to say? Does that, that make sense? Sure. No, no, just kidding. I, this, this guy's already a winner. <laughs> you guys have all achieved more than I ever have no. imagined in this one single room. It's made me a little bit like nervous. So, uh, whatever. Okay, but here's what's going to happen. So there can only be one winner. And for those two who do not win, um, we need you to show up to your next practice wearing some funny costume. Sound yep. good? All right. Yeah, sound good. And we need, we need again, pics, video, post it on the gram. Perfect. Proof or it didn't happen. Sound good? Yep. All right. Okay, yeah. Okay. so that's, that's what's on the line right now. So what we're going to do, let's move these chairs up here. Here we go, here we go. Move some of these chairs over. Okay, so Braden, we're going to have you stand here. We're going to have you, Thomas, stand over here and then McKinley. You're going to come over on this wall here. <coughs> wall sits. Oh, all right. We're, we're all familiar with wall sits, yeah? Let's go, guys. This one's got a little bit of a... <laughs> we're putting you through your paces. Yeah, yeah. you really I hope, are. I hope you guys, I hope hope you guys will be okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. Um, we're going to start the wall sits. You guys feel pretty good about wall sits? You feel like you can yeah. do it? Okay. How do you feel about your knowledge of the BYU fight song? No, it's, I've been here for a long time. I still don't even know the whole thing. But you know what? I'll do my best. Yeah, we'll see how it okay. Goes. okay, we're feeling you. Okay, so let's have you start the wall sits. Okay. okay. Right now. Yep, right now. Okay, so we're going to go one by one, and we're going to see how much of the BYU fight song that you know. Mark, you said if, if you don't get it right, if you mess up, it'll move to the next person and we can do this, okay? Oh, we'll give you a cup man. of water. We're not going to throw the water. Gotcha. We'll just have you hold it and balance it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Kinley, do you want to start us off? Rise. You can keep going. Oh, you want me to keep going? Yes. <laughs> oh, until I like can't do it? Mm -hmm. Oh, gotcha. Oh, man. Okay. Rise all the way up, cougars. I think that's what I got. <laughs> oh, no. 
Okay, she did get that first part. Tama. All right, let's go. All right. Rise all loyal cougars. Hurl your challenge to the foe. We will fight day or night. Oh, what? You will fight. Uh, you will fight. You, you specifically. <laughs> We're not all on this together. <laughs> okay. Do we drink this? We just all right. Rise all, <laughs> rise all loyal this? cougars and hurl your challenge at the foe. To the foe! To the foe. Oh my god. I'm already gone. <laughs> Hey, Back to McKinley. Rise all loyal cougars and hurl your challenge to the foe. We will fight. You will fight! Hey, you're Yeah, keep going, keep going. Loyal, strong, and true. Wear your white and blue. She's doing the actual uh, motion. <laughs> stride? While no. we sing. Oh, dang it! Camp Pumps! Two cups. Let's go, Tom. <clears throat> Tom, right. I got this. Rise all loyal cougars, roll your challenge to the foe. You will, ah, uh, yeah, you will fight day or night. Rain or snow. <laughs> Rain or snow. Mm -hmm. Loyal, strong, and true. Wear their white and blue as we sing. And <laughs> Every time. Oh, I'm going to cry. Oh, no. Let's go, guys. I don't Come on. That far. <laughs> Rise all loyal cougars, roll your challenge at the foe. You <laughs> 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 oh no, guys! Nobody knows the next part. To the foe. To the foe. I'm gonna get to the same spot. Okay, we'll, we'll give you another one here. Here we go. Okay, should we go to the chorus? Yeah. That's the part yeah. everybody knows, right? Uh -huh. So it starts Rise and Shout. McKinley? Oh, rise and Shout, the Kings are out. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fame and Glory, what's in between? Oh, oh, oh cup. Dang it. Cup, you guys okay. are going to be so good at balancing. Rise and shout, the cougars are out. <laughs> <laughs> On to baby <laughs> and go. <laughs> oh, no. Rise and shout, the cougars are out. <laughs> On to victory store. <laughs> <laughs> it's the in-between words. <laughs> I'm <Cup. laughs> You're putting my mouth? Oh, man. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, okay, Brayden, redeem right, us. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Rise and shout, the cougars are out on the path to the glory trail. We'll count it, we'll count okay. it. Path? Um, path? Okay. I mean... You got it, you got it, come on! <laughs> oh, damn! Oh, we'll bring out as we unveil our victory story. Close enough, close oh, enough. Oh, <laughs> first one's down. This one's oh, wrong. We go to Baker Slipho, found the mother's sons and daughters. Yeah. As we join in song. Yeah. In praise of you. Yes. Our faith is strong. We'll raise our colors high in the blue. Got it. This is the cougars of BYU. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. Let's count it. You're our winner. Yeah. Official, official winner. Let me take Dang these cups right. from you. Done, man. Good. It's not fair, I had practice, you know. <laughs> it's true, he, he came from practice, you guys. That's not like <laughs> terribly fair. Awesome. Job, okay, let's bring your okay. cups. Ah. <laughs> wow. Good job, everyone. How are you feeling? How are you guys feeling? Um, I'm actually sweating. Yeah? That was a nice little hard. That was a little hard. Yeah, that was a lot. Okay, let's get this stuff here. Let's get our stuff reorganized. Good Pull job. our chairs over. I don't think those were the actual those words. Those freaking in-between words. You know. It really yeah. is. It really is. Okay. The time is now. We're going to note, um, again, the different ways that you can win. We, I believe we have some names. Okay. We have some in chat. <clears throat> oh. Hayden Mayer. Hayden Mayer. He finished his app. He's setting the example. He's ready to come here. Okay, Hayden, here's what you do. You're winning our first item, which is, I believe it's a Cotopaxi, am I pronouncing that right? Yeah, uh -huh. that was right. Backpack, okay? So what we want you to do, we want you to send your information, Hayden Mayer, from your email, admissions at byu.edu. You'll send that, let us know, and we'll track that, that you're a contest winner, and we'll send you out that sweet, sweet backpack. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm a sweaty over here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is so hard. I see, uh, see and I, I laugh. It's like I haven't done it, but that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. 
Are we ready for an next? Should we bring our final person out? Yeah, let's yeah. do it. We've been having a lot of fun here. Okay, introducing Miss Kylie Linton. She is from the group. You have probably undoubtedly heard of them. Noteworthy. If you haven't, take a look. All right, welcome. I have to ask this cliche question. Okay. Is it anything like that movie, Pitch Perfect? Um, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like it's a lot different, <laughs> actually. But the singing is the same. The yeah. singing is the same. Which is a fun part. Yeah, yeah, you guys just like riff off and you're always singing with each mm -hmm. other. And <laughs> yeah, it's like a so party. fun. That sounds like an awesome party. I love it. It's honestly, and the girls, the best. Yeah. Everyone's just best friends. It's just the best vibe. I love it. That's so cool. Yeah. That's so, what, how, did, how did you get involved with it? Yeah, good question. I always have like known about them. <clears throat> and I was just like, oh yeah, cool. Super sick. But I've never like thought of like doing it myself. Mm. Uh, then in like high school, I like uh, soloed with vocal point. And I was like, oh, this is so fun. Wait, oh pause. You sold, just yeah. randomly in high school, you sold yeah. with Vocal Point? Yeah. So they How did this happen? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> they, so my mom's a vocal coach. She's amazing. Um, and her student was in Vocal Point. And so when they traveled down to Idaho, they just called me and were like, do you want to sing? Like, do it with us? And I was like, well, yeah, that's so fun. They just called you. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I just, ever since you then. You guys are so stinking successful. No, it makes me no, sick. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so fun. So ever since then, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Maybe I'll do that in the future. So mm -hmm. then, I, then I added it in and then, you know, got in and it was so fun. It that's was so, so cool. I was so happy, yeah. That's awesome. So have you always loved singing? That's always been a passion of oh, yours? Oh, yeah. Ever since I was a little baby. <laughs> yeah, little baby. Just loves singing. When your mom tossed you in a pool. And you began singing? <laughs> yeah, you can say that. <laughs> Stories are a little different, but... <laughs> ah, it's where dreams, be. <laughs> dreams are made. That's awesome. So yeah. if you were to compare yourself to a Disney character, could be a princess, could be a prince, could be an animal, what would you be? Um, I think, for sure, Rapunzel from Team mm. Gold. Just because, obviously, love to sing, blonde hair, but my eyeballs... <laughs> are so big. <laughs> I feel like that's like the main thing I have in common with her. The other one's going to second, <laughs> but it's the eyeballs. <laughs> At least that's what people have told me. So that's why I'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> but you also sing. Yeah, but I also sing. And my hair's yeah. blonde. And so. you have a little pet chameleon? No, I wish. No, yeah. Maybe I should get one. Huh? That's awesome. Yeah. Would you Would you like to guess which Disney character oh, I would be? Such a, that's such a good question. I'll tell you, it's Elsa. Oh, oh. <laughs> Why, why are you never, laughing, Nick Kinley? Sorry. What are you laughing about? Well, who would you be? That's bold. That's a great question. Because know. of ice powers. Ice okay. powers? Okay. Okay. Who you wanted to be? No, who I'm most <laughs> What? <laughs> why? No, why? Ice powers. You don't know that I you don't know that I don't have ice powers. I'm feeling a little bit insecure as I sit in here with you. You've not I'll seen have to me show in the winter. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I can make well, crazy you. things. That's cool. That's <laughs> yeah, <that's>, yeah. <laughs> thank you for humoring me. Uh, that's awesome. Well, tell me, in, in your BYU experience, what has stood out the most to you? Um, oh, man, the people. They're just the best. I feel like it's a good vibe at BYU. Everyone's just super kind. You just It's so easy to make connections with people. I feel like I've made some of the bestest friends here. Oh, my gosh, yeah, look at that. We have so Aww. much fun. So many good friends. It's just honestly the best. Aww. So that would be the number one thing I say. <laughs> That's awesome. So the friends, um, what are you studying? I'm a like, commercial music uh, major. So like so emphasizing and producing and mixing engineering. That's awesome. Do you use yeah. that at all? Yeah. So just loving making music and arranging music, helping people do that also. It's so fun. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah, I love what it. about, talk to some of our prospective students at this point. What do you... 
What advice would you give to them? Oh man, just in general at all? Yeah. I would say work your hardest, but also find a good balance of having fun at the same time. I feel like balance is hard to find sometimes, but yeah. I would find a good balance between those two. And you'll have honestly the best experience at BYU. That's so awesome. fun. That's yeah. awesome. Good for you. Good for you. I, I love it. Well, we ready? Ready oh, for yeah. the yeah. biggest game we've done <laughs> yet? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's, <laughs> let's start this one off. <laughs> <laughs> so here at BYU, oh, we have a couple yeah. of great traditions. One is called a cougar tail. Now, a cougar tail is kind of like a maple bar, except it's three times the size. We also are very proud of our chocolate milk. And chocolate milk is like normal chocolate milk, except it's three times better. 300 times better. I don't know. Whatever it is, okay? And so we've, we've put you through. We've got, we've got our senses that we've mm -hmm. tested with McKinley. Yeah. We've got our balance that we've tested. We're going all in. This one is just sheer willpower. <laughs> the power to win. Let me tell you, here's what happens for the three who don't win this. Okay. You guys up to this? Mm -hmm. It's Halloween season, right? We have a particular building on campus that has just a lot of professors' offices lined up in a row. All right, so for the three that don't win, you're going to dress up full Halloween costume. We're going to get video of this, and you're going to go trick-or-treating to some of, the, some of your professors <laughs> and ask them, hopefully on or before Halloween, might get a little awkward if you're knocking on their door come Thanksgiving time. Does that sound good? Everyone, that. everyone good? We'll, yeah. get, we'll get picks or it didn't happen. Okay, before um, we do that, we have another winner. Let me grab this one here. <laughs> so this winner, I believe, is going to win our hoodie. We've got a very, very nice Ooh. hoodie. It's Nike, I believe. Mm. And this one is going to awesome chatter Emily Wild, spelled with an E at the end. Emily Wild. Okay, Emily, we're going to put it up on the screen. Admissions at byu.edu. We want you to send us your information. We're going to send you this awesome hoodie. Thanks so much for being awesome in chat, Emily. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. You guys ready for this? Okay, oh. so let's oh, yeah. get this all set up. You want to do it with us? Come on. Wow. Mm, <laughs> the thing, mm, the yes. thing is, mm, 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 mm. Oh, okay, yeah. so you guys have got some bibs here. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> because of course you have some bibs. Now this can catch anything you want it to catch. Oh, this is so flattering. <laughs> it is so flattering. <laughs> Good thing I didn't eat before this. Yes. Poor McKinley, yeah, she's been through right. it. This feels right. She's been through it. Okay, now, part of what we're going to do in here, you guys played red light, green light too? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so when I say go, <laughs> I, I don't envy you guys. Just take a photo of this. <laughs> I, I, I don't envy you guys. <laughs> when I say go, <laughs> you are going to start eating and <laughs> drinking this chocolate milk. When I yell, red light, you stop. That could be mid-chug. That could be mid-bite. <laughs> oh, no. oh my gosh. It could be, it could be any number of things. <laughs> mid-swallow, mid-spit up. Nope, I don't know how you're gonna stop that. But, okay, everyone good? Yeah. yeah. Are you I'm ready? So ready yeah. All right. <laughs> On your mark, get set, go. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh, no. McKinley's covering her mouth because she <laughs> wants to be proper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Hey man, as long as I tell you, wins the race. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got... <laughs> Whoa. <Mom. laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Bye bye. Green light. Oh, Oh, you go. Do it. Red light. Green light. How are you guys feeling? 
So I'm down there. I'm about to throw up. <laughs> that's what the oh that's what the bib is for. <laughs> Are you finished? That's what the bib Am is I for. Winning? You're winning. Not for long. Red light. Green light. <laughs> my lungs. Oh, no. You guys, <laughs> I feel like this is not becoming too much. You are a donut eating champion. Me? I'm really good at that. I'm just going so slow. Oh, no. You guys are going to slow down real fast. <laughs> Can I just say, it smells amazing. <laughs> it's so, so maple-y. You wanna help? It's so maple-y. Red light. Green light. Nice try. Red light. <laughs> Green light. Red light. Green light. Red light. No, that's me. Green light. <laughs> oh, he's double donating it. No! I told you I was hustling y'all. This is. I'm going down now, nah, <laughs> baby. <laughs> I feel so sick. Oh no. Okay. He has. We have to split out. Oh. That's the idea. That's the idea. I'll make you a deal. If you get to the end of your donuts, I'll chug your milk. <laughs> you can have my milk. Can I say green light I will or red light? Yes, you can. But you got to get deal. to the end of your donuts. <laughs> Before somebody else does. And Tama is, he is kind of commanding a fierce lead here. Yeah, he is. There's a little Red light. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Green light. I see, I see those Rapunzel eyes right there. You see that? They're coming out. <laughs> They're coming out. <laughs> you understand, no? I, I understand. I understand. But I also support you. Let's support you. Here we go, here we go. It does. And you just inject it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how that down. So Red light. Cool. What's in your mouth? <laughs> Good night. Oh. oh my gosh. I think I'm so You're not going to damage your vocal cords, are you? Is that is that a sure, thing? Can that happen through eating? No, with my leg probably. We could ask your mom, who's a voice coach. <laughs> is eating? She's watching. Is eating I'm three donuts? <laughs> is eating three donuts and drinking so a bunch funny. of milk. Good for <laughs> ah! Oh, oh he's on his last donut. Oh, oh he's he's folding it up. Mm. Oh man, he's on the Michael Phelps diet. I heard where you got to eat the thirty thousand. Oh, Red light. Great job. Great job. Great oh. job. Green light. Please don't throw up. I actually will. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, Tom is going for it. He wants this. He does not want to trick or treat because he will be all filled with, with uh -oh. donuts at this point. Are you going <laughs> to oh, back no. here? Actually, I'm unwell. I'm oh. unwell. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't swim. Red light. <laughs> What's in your mouth? Milk. <laughs> Green light. Please don't go uh, He's finished the donut. He's just got the chocolate milk. Oh, dang it. He's Put just me out got the chocolate misery. milk. Put me out. You guys, are, they have done a really good job. Uh, I say that as an innocent bystander who. Red light. <laughs> Green light. <laughs> I was literally chilling. For why? I know. This is the <laughs> here it is. Here it is. Bring it home. Bring it home. Mm. What do they call this? Mm. The anchor mm. leg here? 
<laughs> Go faster, please. Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like <laughs> liquids is his specialty. Uh huh. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's what makes him such a fast swimmer. He just sucks up the water as he's going. Here we go, here we go. Here. Red light. Green light, red light. Green light, red light. Green light, red light. Green light, go green. Yeah, easy. Oh, he's doing it. Yes, there he is. Oh! The champion. Don't get slow and steady wins the race. That is an amazing, amazing job. Here, let's go around. How are you feeling, Braden? I'm all right. I think I'm going to take this home. Yeah, there you go. McKinley, how are you doing? Oh, no. <laughs> We've kind of put you through it tonight. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, okay. I don't think I can look at any more donuts. That's so good. Ah, oh, he's amazing. He's amazing. He's amazing. <laughs> I feel great. <laughs> that is awesome. That is awesome. Okay, so you three know it's trick-or-treating in costumes. So nice. <laughs> Wonderful. So, no, I am so excited. We're going to take you around to some of your professors. Are you going to go together or is it alone? We, we can let you go together, right. I feel well, like. that's good. That's you good. guys can coordinate, yeah, you can coordinate your yep. costumes. You can dress up as each other. <laughs> Great. Oh, <okay. laughs> well, that is awesome. Okay, so here we go. We're getting towards the end of our time. We hope that you guys have had a good experience. Just reminding again, so we've had a couple of people that have won throughout the night. We do still have some contests going again on later again. Watch for some of their segments that they'll post. We'll repost them and send them out to all of you who have participated in the event. But again, we've got two contests that you can still win. Number one is for our Air Force Ones. You guys like Air Force Ones? Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Customized Air Force Ones. For our seniors, those who are eligible to apply, if you start or finish an app, by November 1st, which is our um, application priority deadline, you'll be entered to win that drawing for that prize of customized Air Force Ones. And we'll reach out to you for that. And then secondly, if you're not eligible to apply right now at this time, don't panic. We've got you taken care of. We've got AirPods. I think they're the really nice ones, yeah, huh? That's why they're, they're the good ones. New gen, wouldn't short you guys like that. That's what I told you before. We've got the AirPods. You're going to have a chance to win that. So again, if you're a junior, if you're a senior, if you're not within that eligible pool to apply right now, you can always share this video. This is going to be up here, stream.byu.edu. You can share this video, tag us at BYU Admissions to our Instagram account, and then we'll be picking some of the winners um, of those who have shared it. You guys, thank you so much for joining us. Did thank you have fun? You. That was so much fun. All right, we'll go around the room one more time. Anything last that you want to tell to our prospective students or anybody about tonight at BYU? Yeah, don't be afraid to try something new when you get here. Uh, Folk Dance has open auditions the second week of every semester, so come join us. And that's awesome. You guys got Christmas <coughs> around the world coming up, Yeah, too, we right? do. First weekend of December, if you're in Utah, come down and watch us do dances from around the world. That's <laughs> awesome. McKinley? Just get involved and use your resources. There's so much at BYU. I'm still learning about things that I wish I knew about my freshman year. So there's so much to offer, and there's definitely something for everyone. So just, just find that. That's awesome. What do you guys have coming up? Any concerts? or? Uh, mostly we're just uh, performing at timeouts for football. I love and then it. we have a concert in February. In <laughs> and there you go. Yeah, so. look for their next viral video and 5,001 national championship. <laughs> um, I would just say what I said before, just have fun, find a good balance, but also work hard. Honestly, BYU is the best place for both, so <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good place to be. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Tama? Yeah, um, to kind of go off what they said, you're not going to find a better place in BYU. With a great environment, great staff, great coaches if you're looking into any sports, this is the best place to be. It's, you'll feel the spirit. And you bring that spirit to everyone here. Awesome. Well, with that, thank you so much. Again, remember, still have those two chances to win Air Force One. Start or complete an app by November 1st. Or share this video. Tag us at BYU Admissions. Thank you so much. This was tonight at BYU. <laughs>